So, consider natin yung CC natin. So, basic settlement formula is equal to initial height all over 1 plus initial void ratio multiply dun sa, okay, compression index sa tayo, no? So, ito yung sinolve natin kanina papunta dun sa ating compression index. Logarithmic ng P2 over P1. So, balikan natin dun sa diagram. PC natin, okay, 150. So, nandito na tayo sa compression index. So, ano ba yung P2 minus P1 natin? So, yung P2 na natin ngayon, initial effective stress plus yung change in delta P natin, tapos yung P1 na natin ngayon ay yung pre-consolidation pressure kasi yun yung nasa slope CC natin. Okay, yung P1 na natin ngayon dito ay yung PC and then yung P2 na gagamitin na natin ngayon ay yung PO plus delta P natin. Okay? So, ano ba yung H1 natin? So, initial height ng consolidation layer natin. Kung saan nagko-consolidate yung clay layer, 8 meters all over 1 plus E. Initial void ratio natin, paulit-ulit, 0.8. Okay, yung CC po natin, na-solve natin kanina, which is 0.27. Okay, kung titignan natin sa previous slide, ito po yung ating masasagot. And then, yung logarithm natin ng P2, which is yung change in delta P na, 157.52 all over yung ating pre-consolidation pressure na 150. So, yung delta H2, 2 po natin, is equal to 0.25, okay, 0.0254 meters or in millimeters, 25.4933 Millimeter. So, yung delta H2 natin, and then yung delta H1. So, ipag-a-add lang natin siya para makuha natin yung over-consolidation natin in case 2. No? So, idadagdag lang natin itong slope CS and slope CC. So, makukuha na natin yung total settlement caused by primary consolidation. Yung nasolve natin sa delta H1 plus yung nasolve natin sa delta H2. Which is, okay, 34.044 millimeters plus 25.4933 millimeters. So, therefore, our settlement caused by primary consolidation na ang case po natin ay case 2, it is equal to 60.1978 millimeters. So, yun lang po para sa primary consolidation. So, maraming salamat po sa pakikinig. Here is the reference that I've used. Thank you.